Welcome back to my crossover. This is my favorite part because, you know, what's the current issues in the NBA today? Marky Mark, tell us what's up with it. All right, let's go straight up to what's going on with, with the Cavs. So I want to talk about Cavs and LeBron to you guys. Uh, what have you guys thought so far about, you know, the newly revamped roster of the Cavaliers? How are they doing right now? And let's talk after that about LeBron, really. So let's go straight for Cavaliers. How are you doing? What do you guys have seen so far? Um, Cavaliers, I think they're doing all right with the you know, revamped team now. Uh, I still need to see a few, few more adjustments here. There, they're still growing as a team. You know, it's it's still hard as a team, as I said before in a few episodes ago, that you have to gel together in this short amount of time, mm -hmm. right after All Star break, and try to chase for that playoff spot. Right. Um, I just want to like, I could t say that this is going to be the best team in the East when they f face Boston and when they face the Raptors, because that's another test mm -hmm. for all all three of those teams when they face each other during the regular season and. If that, if they can do that again in the playoffs, mm -hmm. and see if they can knock out the Raptors, which who are in the first seed right now. Mm -hmm. uh, I really like the the new Cavs lineup, uh, <laughs> the new additions. You just mentioned Jordan Clarkson. Shout out to him, getting new energy, <laughs> new vibe, sure. and he's playing out of his mind right now, hitting yeah, shots that sure. like he's hitting shots, and he's very like he's his playing vibe, his energy, he's playing his role. He's playing his role. Absolutely. Off the, bench. Um, the only thing is like I don't know if when LeBron like when LeBron just leaves them to be because LeBron's a vet, you know, in the playoffs and in clutch moments. When it comes to those new guys coming on, they're not really that season. We got, you know, Larry Nance, we got all those new additions that haven't really touched really playoff, you know, experience. experience. No experience. Yeah. So LeBron can handle zone, but when LeBron has to take a rest, or if LeBron, will LeBron rest? <laughs> we'll see. Oh, well, will LeBron so. rest? Yeah. But yeah. LeBron's playing out of his mind, and I feel like, again, we have to see that test against mm, Raptors sure. and against right. Celtics. So. Yeah. Right. Mm. Well, first and foremost, yeah. LeBron's the president, right? Yeah. <laughs> he, he controls everything in, in, in that core, in that power. Yeah. If LeBron takes a rest, yeah. I feel like it's the end of Cleveland. Yeah. Right? And I guess one of the things that we don't want to sleep to is Kevin Love. Kevin Love's out, been out of the game, right? Yeah, we saw him accumulate it, yeah. yeah. Right. So if you have Kevin Love in the playoffs, that, that would be a great factor. Now, one of the things that we also don't want to sleep on is Tristan Thompson. Mm. We've got to get these guys. Comfort. This comfort level needs to come back. His energy mm. and passion needs to come mm -hmm. back. That sure. Kardashian right. effect. Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you brought oh, Kardashian oh, in the oh, mix. No, oh, okay. 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 <laughs> but yeah, just just moving forward, I think with Tristan back or Jr. Sh shooting the lights out this, mm. as usual, I think this is gonna gain momentum all the way back. Mm. But it's for me. Uh, you gotta when you go to the finals, you gotta get more arsenals in there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you gotta get more vets too in your mm -hmm. squad. Mm -hmm. Like I mean, Jordan's playing well. He's very mm -hmm. confident, right? But at the end of the day, uh, if you wanna take a look at solidifying who you wanna move towards around LeBron, so you gotta put a building block in there, mm -hmm. right? It's like Russell Westbrook and Carmelo Anthony. Mm -hmm. They they're starting to gel now. Yeah. Right, for the past since the start season, they didn't even never gel. Mm -hmm. So we got to get some veterans in there to so get their winning ways back. Mm -hmm. The crazy part is throughout this old roller coaster that's happening in Cleveland, they're still third in the in the East. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And yes. the, all these and Kevin Love is coming back still, and I right. feel like they're just gonna coast through it, just make it to the playoffs, and then that's when LeBron's really gonna take over. And the part is just playing the best basketball of his career. And speaking of the person that's playing the best basketball of his career, mm -hmm. let's talk about. James Harden and the Rockets too. Like, yeah. how impressive has they been? Like, you know, what have you guys noticed so far? Right now, they're the best team in the in the West. Mm -hmm. Like, surprisingly, over over the Warriors. Like, right. what do you think about their chances? Think, Are they legit this year? Don't they have they have, they have the best record in the NBA now? Right? Mm -hmm. They have the best record in the West, which means they have the best record in the NBA. Okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> right. um, yeah. But with James Harden, I think they've they've been they t he's taken to his game to another level with all the criticism since the beginning of the season when Chris Paul got move to Houston and be like, can, can Chris Paul actually play with James Harden? Because they're technically both point guards. Mm -hmm. And can, can they take it to the next level? Which they have been doing so far in, throughout the whole season. Mm -hmm. And actually beating key games against Cleveland, against Golden State as well. Mm -hmm. um, I think, I, so, uh, I think I, I've read a stat, or someone said a stat on, on uh, mainstream media that when Clint Capella, Chris Paul, and James Harden are on the court, they're like 30 and... 31 and, one, 30, 30 and 1. 30 and yeah. 1. Right. So that says something about mm. the growth of not only Chris Paul and James Harden, but their big guy who's young right. and 
no one really knows his name. Yeah, he just right. came out. He came He's out not getting enough credit. They could, right. Chris Paul has been giving him a lot of credit. And now, and now the James, and now, now James Harden getting that MVP conversation. He's like leading every right. single uh, leader leaderboard through ESPN, Bleacher Report, NBA.com, through everything from the storylines to the stats. You know, mm -hmm. he's been doing so well, and he's gonna, he's leading the MVP uh, leaderboard. Also, uh, unfortunately, he, he dropped Wesley Johnson a few day, a few nights ago. So <laughs> I think that's a nod to yeah, him sorry. being an MVP now. Yeah. <laughs> Right. But what, what are your thoughts, BJ? Um, I really believe in the, their system they're running, and I believe in I believe in James Harden. James Harden, you can't really guard him. There's no way. Like he's such a good passer. He's he can finish. He fools you. Like, he's crafty. He's so crafty. Yeah. Left, left, left there, just really crafty. You can, yeah. Yeah. So like, as a team, he's a, he's dangerous, and you got Chris Paul. There, it's really havoc. It's. They're the best offense in right. the whole NBA. Actually, in the history in of the his, NBA. In the history. In the history of oh, the NBA. So yeah. how can you... It, I, don't, I don't know. I, I, re, I really think it's anonymous. I really think yeah. James Harden for MVP. I agree. And, and you know what? Yeah. you got to understand, they got big men that can shoot the threes. Mm. Yeah. you got Ryan yeah. Anderson that's coming off the bench shooting threes. It's you got true. P.J. Tucker. Mm. you got Gerald Green. And you insert Joe Johnson in there. Man, it's just that was an underrated like yeah, pickup. Yeah, exactly. Nobody... So if you take a look at James Harden as an orchestrator, heck, mm. even the coach would say, "Hey, the answer only goes, hey, shoot all you want." But at the end <laughs> yeah. of the day, you still have another orchestrator with Chris Paul, mm -hmm. right? And Clint, the thing about Clint is he also works in the paint, right? Because yeah. he's so lengthy. Yeah. He doesn't True. even need to rebound. He just taps it over. You see how mm -hmm. he's taps it over? And then, mm -hmm. and then you got the guys that will shoot. Um, Ma Bu, a Ma Bute, yeah, or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. He's a shooter too. He's a shooter. Yeah. And they're playing him center at yeah, times. Yeah, playing him yeah. center. So it's kind of like, you know, you know what I remind me of of them? It's like a run and gun Phoenix Suns with Sean Marion and them back in the day. Mm -hmm. Because all they did was they had one center with Amari. Yeah. And they were a, a slow team. Mm -hmm. They played they small. Bash, right? yeah. So it's similar to what they're doing right mm -hmm. now. Yeah. yeah. Right? And you, you, he mentioned before that uh, you gotta give credit to Mike D'Antoni. Right. This, is, this has been a process, just like what Dwayne Keys is doing with the Raptors. It's called the culture reset. Yeah. That's a whole conversation. But Mike D'Antoni been there for a while, what two or three years yeah. with Houston and with James Harden. Yeah. Now implementing Chris Paul, he's been working hard enough to implement the offense. Mm -hmm. And he, Mike D'Antoni is that offensive. Uh, mm -hmm. He's an offensive coach, and he's yeah. been mm -hmm. doing well to implement the system and look where they're at now, right. best in the league, best mm -hmm. in the league. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You got to give credit to to, uh, to Daryl Morey, who was the GM, because right. he lists, like, you know, he literally said, this is the coach. I'm going to build, you know, base around what this coach, you know, is best at, which is, you know, a running gun, shooting, mm -hmm. right. and spacing. And the thing is that they had a better version of Nash, which is Chris Paul and, and, and Harden. As much as exactly. I'm a big fan of Nash, I think Chris Paul and Harden are a better version. And imagine what, you know, they could have, you know, he could have been in Phoenix if he had a player right. like James Harden or... Uh, Chris Paul because they almost went to the finals. Yeah, question yeah. for you guys: Do you guys yeah. play 2K by any chance? Oh yeah, yeah I play 2K. Yeah. Take a look at the 2K rating, number one in offense. Rockets. It's Rockets. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 2K doesn't lie. <laughs> so you guys, for sure, like your MVP this year is James Harden, as James much Harden. as as good as unless, LeBron unless has been. Some, unless something happens yeah. that you know yeah. his numbers start dropping, and then right. Russell Westbrook, Anthony Davis come come back up. But Davis is another level too. He's oh, another, yeah. yeah, he's been playing. Hold on, guys. Like, yeah. We don't have time, man. James James Harden said this is this is the year, Clyde. Yeah. Is it Houston's year? Yeah. I feel so. I mean, I've been a Houston guy all my long, uh, yeah. all time long. Yeah. You know what? When when Olajuwon and Clyde Drexler and Charles Barkley, Scotty Pippen days, yeah. when they walk back to back, it really, yeah. you know, it's it's for me. Houston has that organization that kind of like Toronto. You know, yeah. we support an organization. When you have a backbone, when you have an or, uh, uh, a GM, when yeah. you have a fan base, yeah. right, that supports you, that that. It's there 100 percent it's just a matter of time where rookies will gel in right True. because veterans they're so open to them. Yeah. They're open yeah. to changes all mm -hmm. right uh we have to change the channel or change the program <laughs> now at ftv because that ends our show uh any shout outs you'd like to give clyde before we end well uh, thank you very much mm -hmm. uh, uh we appreciate your time and effort Boy Cup, by the way, July 19th to the 22nd. Uh, we will have more surprises for you in store. Check out our website, www.mcupbasketball.com. There you Enjoy. go. I can't wait for M Cup now. Yeah. <laughs> well, like we've been, you know, it's been, uh, this is probably our third year broadcasting mm -hmm. it, so we're excited to be 
you know, a part of this, you know, movement. And hopefully we take that broadcast to another level because I, 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 we'll talk about it after. Uh, also, Rise Tribe. <laughs> I remember Rise Tribe's oh, coming yeah. up uh, March, March 10th. March 10th. March 10th. Hershey right, Center, guys. guys. <laughs> Not Air Canada Center, Hershey Center. <laughs> Hershey Center. <laughs> yeah, we're going to get yeah. here. Yeah. We're going to get all there. All right, that's all. And remember, guys, stay balling.